I'm thinking back to a couple of years ago, around the people that I was hanging around. You know, no shots at them. You know, they were good people when they were a part of my life. But where I'm at now, if I was in this mind state five years ago, I'd probably be sitting on about five hundred thousand dollars. There's no knock to the people that I was hanging out with. I want to make sure I, I, I point this out. This is all me. But I wasn't hanging around men that inspired me to be better. I was hanging out with men that was inspiring me to want to sleep with multiple women. To make money. To look like I had money. I was putting on a facade that I couldn't keep up, keep up with. So I had to work harder to keep up with a facade that I was trying to really live years later. Like, understand this, like, I've never been a true religion, Gucci, Fendi, Prada, Louis type of guy, right? And I'm just, everybody know me, I'm a sweats, white tee, couple of chains on my neck, blonde hair, young boy, you know what I mean? Like, they know me, like, oh, that's not, that's, that's old up. But I didn't hang around men that inspired me. I actually, I actually haven't seen more than, less than a handful of men that inspired me across my life. But I mean like really inspired me to be something like, yo, get this money. Like, like leave these, leave these girls alone. Get this money, forget the honey, basically. That's, that's the model. I didn't really meet guys like that. You know what I mean? So when, when I got my first lick of females, it was like, what I've been doing my whole life. It's like, oh, never, it's about to take off. And you know, like a, just like a domino effect. Once you hit one, it's, 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 it's a... It's a train wreck. But I didn't hang around men that inspired me to want to be better. Like, don't get me wrong, I mean, I was going to school, I was graduating with multiple degrees, but I really wasn't doing it because men inspired me. I was graduating with multiple degrees to make sure that I felt like I was better than my father at the end of the day. I'm like, okay, all he got is a high school diploma. I get three of these bad boys, I know I feel good. I'm walking across the stage with my third degree and I'm like, damn, I don't feel no different. You know, and, it, and, and then after the fact, you know, like I said, I might have been dealing with a female here or there, and even that fell through. So then I go to the point of, I walk across stage, I don't get that feeling that I expected to get. I'm dealing with a female, I don't get that feeling that I'm supposed to get. I come home, niggas I knew for years, flop. I don't expect to feel what I'm, so it's like, damn, it's like, God, what you, what you doing? Like you just wiping, you wipe it clean slate. I know I pray and I say, you know, remove anything by any means necessary that doesn't belong there, that's trying to hurt me, that's trying to hinder me, that doesn't want me to be better in life. But it's like, oh, you were serious, serious. So it's like, until now, when I look at myself and I look at my surroundings, you know, me sitting in California, you know, California, A, and it's just like, I wasn't around men that inspired me to be here. To get me here. I didn't see that father figure to tell me, yo, you know, chase those dreams. You know, I seen the father figure that said, get a nine to five and it never work out for you. You know, I didn't have those those friends that was like, you know, um, let's let's stack this money up, you know, let's open up a business together, you know. Let's um let's be great together. Nah. They were still focused on, you know, sleeping with multiple women, pillow talking, you know, trying to just to get over for what? You know, by the time I'm 35, I'm trying to be rich. Like it's not, it's not, it's, it's not even close. Like, like, let's 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 be real. White people have already things that they are grown into. Black people are grown and born into debt. Period. So we're already under the cap. So you mean to tell me I gotta fight to just even be equal? Then besides fighting to be equal, I gotta work even harder to even make sure I maintain and then get over the top. But I can't be close. I have to be superior to make sure I even get considered for the job, for the position, for for the acknowledgement. No. It's so imperative to know who's around you and make sure that those five men around you are are if not stronger, harder than you. Like, of course it's going to look cute if you're in a race you in tip-top shape and you run along five fat people. You're going to finish first every time. 
people gonna be like, damn, he can't be beat. But look at your competition. Of course you're gonna look like you're the best out there. But let's say you in tip top shape and you running against five racers that's been doing it their whole life. And you losing every single time. Yes, in your mind, you might be like, damn, I'm losing. But you might go from running a 3-2 to running a 12-9. You know, you might, you might, you might cut down your, your time by 0.4. So you're getting better every time, even though you're still losing. So if those people were to leave, you didn't leave a loser, you left a better person in a better situation to, to benefit yourself. People don't even understand about speaking the positivity in the world and having and having that spoken into you. Having the right people around, like, come on, you can do it. You got it. You'll get it. I've, I've been motivated my whole life off of straight negativity. When people told me, yo, have a good game, you'll have a good, I had bad games. But when a nigga told me, oh, 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 you're not nice, you're not good, you don't deserve to be here. Yeah, I turned up something different. It, it, it's just a different chip on my shoulder trying to prove people wrong. I've been, I've been living my life so, so much on proving people wrong that when I get the love and acknowledgement, I get that little emoji face like, thank you. I'm waiting for the psych, got you, get out of here. Like, and now just even knowing that I have one person or two people that's kind of like, yo, Matt, you right there, let's get it. It's kind of like, okay. It's like affirmation. If I if I was on this time five years ago, simple. Five people think that five years is far. That's, that's, that's come like that. Five years comes so fast, and it's just like I was inspired to get girls to slide in DMs, you know. And the crazy thing is so weird because I wasn't even a talker. I would kill joints and never tell people I killed joints because I didn't want my business out there. So I was I was a part of the crew. I was partaking in the extracurricular activities just to wake up to do the whole thing again. I ain't gonna lie, I looked up and it was like two years. Like, yeah, I got better on the basketball court, you know, I went to the gym here and there, cool. Yeah, I got more known, yeah, cool. Yeah, I got a couple of bodies under my belt, but what have I done to make me a better person and make me rich? But you ask yourself, what has that Caucasian male done in those past two years? I bet you he just, he probably took off 125,000. So now I'm a ton of 25,000 behind. Because my mindset isn't, let me get what he has. My mindset is to get that and then more to beat him. Because if I can beat him, that means I overcame the odds. I beat the odds and then I'm exceeding the odds. If that's, if, if, if that's not your, your objective, your mindset, what are you doing in life? If you over here worried about being cuddled up, pillow talking, oh, loved up, trying to be hood famous, good for you, bro. It's not for me. And we just can't be friends. There's no knock to you. I'm not bougie. I'm not Hollywood. No pun intended. I, but it's just like, I just need something different for myself. I need this. It's, it's not an if and a, I need this. I need this type of mindset. I need to make sure I'm getting it. Because if I'm not getting it, what am I doing with my life? I will be damned if I work a nine to five for the rest of my life. Now don't get me wrong, people that work nine to fives is much kudos to you. It just ain't my life. I gotta travel the world. I gotta go on vacation. I gotta see things. I wanna. I, I got. If I'm a die, let me die. Do something I love. But now nah, I'm not gonna lay on my back. I, I can't just have that regular life. Like don't get don't get it messed up. Like I'm in debt. You know. Of course I got three degrees under my belt. Of course I could be doing something with them. I'm not. I'm traveling, I'm vlogging, but I'm having the time of my life, you know, I got my whole life to pay shit off, you know, right now, my mindset is, let's get this money, let's, let's, and I, and, and when I say five men to inspire you, I mean, I'm not even talking just financially, I'm talking godly, I'm talking relationship-wise, I learned nothing about how to be in a relationship, how to love a woman properly. I learned nothing about how to improve my relationship with God properly. I was that one talking that and, and, and feeding that into myself and it was just like, if we remove sleeping with women and money, what kind of relationship or friendship do we have? And then, you know, as time progressed from the ages of like five 
till now it was just like I've seen so many relationships and friendships crumble. Having people that inspire you, have people that put that battery in your back, having people that speak that positivity into you, and, and you get that little oomph, like, yo, I got you, I'm not going to listen. You, when, when people believe in you, you have an obligation to be great, period. It ain't no if, ands, or buts about it because then you're disappointing them. You're taking their hope and their love that they could have put into themselves, that they're putting into you, and you're disappointed with. When people believe in you, you have an obligation to be great, period. It ain't no if ands or buts about it. So if you're not being great, if you if if you're not shooting for the stars, then you're feeling yourself. I mean, come on. Who wants to feel yourself?